What's up, Sean Cuck Daddy Combs? My name is James Reeves. You're watching TFB TV Mailroom, where I open fan mail and packages from people who are clearly mental invalids. In order to get through this, typically I have to drink, and that's what I'm doing today. Jacob, I believe, sent this in last month. So we've got, I mean, it's after all, it's Sunday, boys. It's, it's the day of the Lord. So we're going to go ahead and juice up with a big, fat polliner. Mm, 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 mm. You love to see it, don't you? You guys remember last video, I talked about the 511 giveaway. 511's been a sponsor. That's why I wear all their dang shit. Uh, they've been a sponsor for a long time, and they are a great company with really great people. God damn it. I did a awful job of pouring this. But anyways, 511, great people. Love them to death. They did a Father's Day giveaway. They just contacted me. They were like, hey, James, how would you like to do a Father's Day giveaway? I'm like, okay, yeah, cool. What are we going to give away? Like a hat? And they're like, oh, no, we're going to give away like $1,000 worth of shit. So I put the link to the form to sign up for it about a month ago on our Patreon and our Subscribestar pages. So if you're a patron or you're a subscriber, we give back to you guys. Got a lot of channels out there where they're just taking, oh, help me, help me, you know, taking money. Um, I don't even get this money because of the company that owns my ass, but you know, it helps my bottom line, makes me look like a real pro, so I appreciate the fact that you do it because it goes to pay me and Miles and Hop as well. You guys get something back, including like a thousand dollars worth of shit from 511 for Father's Day. And the winner was selected by 511. They looked at all the responses. Nick M of Washington. We asked what was the best or worst gift you ever gave your dad or received. I gave my dad a stapler and three boxes of staples, each wrapped in different size boxes. So each of the staple boxes he opened, he thought would be something different. I felt so bad after seeing his face on the second one. I was eight years old and I used our own stapler, so it wasn't even a new one. Wow, you sick son of a bitch. I, you gave your dad his own stapler and then you calculated it so you would get his hopes up and disappoint him with every sequential package there's something wrong with you there's also something wrong with 511 for choosing you as the winner when you asked what you would like to get from 511 to give your father you said i'd absolutely love to get him a pair of tactical shorts so we could be matching at the range in the beautiful washington summer months a little bit of a recovery there, but you don't quite redeem yourself because you are fucked up in the head. Oh, speaking of crazy, let's go ahead and get started. We've got a lot of packages, as you can see here, so we might have to do a little lightning round today on TFB TV. James, congratulations on being the Gunternet's okayest YouTuber. Thank you. Here's your prize. Shout out to the beautiful minds at MAL. Coop, dude, your handwriting sucks. Okay, it says all of your burning questions answered, no determination letter required, up to the consistency of the bureau itself, low tech polymer construction, 20 answers. Agent of the ball, please tell us your wisdom. Ah, uh, that's cute. It's like an ATF magic eight ball. Will I go to prison in 2021 again? Depends. Do you love your dog? Does Hickok 45 have a hentai collection? All signs point to felony. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. All right, next from Doug M. Austin, Texas. James, TFB's mailroom videos are not great. That's true. And they're the least popular videos that we make. I don't know why I even do this shit, but I find them to be entertaining. And what else can we ask for in this world but a few minutes of free entertainment? I've included a patch for your patch wall. And I can feel it doesn't have Velcro on the back. So how the fuck do you think I'm going to get it up there, buddy? And I hope you and your viewers like it. Many years ago, I created replica patches for my grandfather's World War II 15th Air Force 325th Fighter Group, 317th Fighter Group, which crewed and flew P-40s, P-47s, and P-51s through Northern Africa, Italy, Russia, and Germany. They were called the Checker Tail Clan, and their tails were painted with a yellow-black checker tail. I think their patch is awesome. It's a yellow jacket whose stinger turns into a machine gun, and I think it will look good on your patch wall. Thanks for the entertainment, Doug. I mean, this is borderline furry, by the way. Can we talk about that? 
But cool patch, Doug. Thank you very much for sending it in. Um, no return address. Rebel scum patch. You guys know I'm a Star Wars nerd. James, I've enjoyed your content and become a subscriber or a supporter. Thank you. After finding out how much of a Glock fanboy you are, I am. Loved your review of the Glock 43X with the Shield Arms 15 round magazines. I bought the 43X and two mags and now have 31 rounds at my disposal for my EDC. Yeah, feels great, doesn't it? I also added a Recover Tactical GR43 rail adapter for my Olight PL Mini 2 Valkyrie flashlight for night defense when I'm not using my AR9. I love that. I love that. So it's like, you know, you get this badass Glock 43X uh, with the Shield Arms 15 round magazine, spend all this cash and then you're getting an O-Light. I'm not saying that O-Lights are bad, and, and I don't want to go down this road. I even have an O-Light somewhere around here. I bought one of those Valkyries just to try out, and to be honest, I was really impressed, but, you know, neither here nor there. I'll let you guys debate it in the comments. So, being a Glock fanboy seems like being somewhat of a rebel because of how ostracized we are for it. So, from one rebel scum to another, hope you enjoy this smashing rebel scum patch. Thanks again to all the TFB TV guys for the entertaining comment. Look, man, I really like it. I really like romanticizing Glock ownership, but let's be honest, we're the empire. Okay, Grand Haven, Michigan. James and the rest of the TFB TV crew, you do great work and put out some very good videos. After getting my TFB TV patch in the mail, I realized that I had one that I can send back. I work as an engineer building and designing engines for tanks, APCs, and mobile howitzers, and this patch is a spare one that I grabbed for you. Keep up the good work, Ian. L3 Systems, very familiar with them. Thank you very much, Ian. All right, let's keep it moving. Let me see if I can get through all this shit. By the way, this polliner tastes awful. It's <laughs> clearly, it's old, but that's fine because it's Sunday and I'm drinking, boys. Dear TFB TV, enclosed is a QTAC 6 Quadra Tactical Ammo Carrier 6. It's a shot shell side saddle carrier for pump, semi-auto, or lever action shotguns. It will retain 12, 16, or 20 gauge shot shells. QTACs come in a range of sizes from 2, 3, 6, and 7 shot shell holders. I invented this carrier 11 years ago and I hand build them myself. Using only the best selected materials, the QTAC incorporates thick, heavy duty polyester elastic loops, genuine industrial strength Velcro, and 3M industrial shock and vibration reduction material in its core. Go to Quadra Tactical for full information and instructions. I enjoy your channel. Keep up the good work. Andrew Quadrado. So it's funny that you sent this in right after I did the Beretta 1301 video because this is similar to what I was using. I was using the STAC shotgun cards. It's really nice being able to put your Velcro on the side of your shotgun receiver, slap this on there, load it up. Whenever it goes dry, you can just toss it, put a new one on there that's already loaded up. So that's very cool. Thanks for sending it. Oh God, it's Stubbs' wife. So for those of you who don't know, Stubbs is a member of our Discord, a valued member of our Discord. He mutilates guns. It's really disgusting and disturbing. And he sends packages in sometimes and they smell like vinegar and barbecue sauce. And it's just really weird. And he actually got married to a woman, if you can believe that, who lives with him, at least to the best of my knowledge. Title, Possum King, artist, Kayla, oil on canvas, February 2021, <laughs> Louisiana Possum King. I think Kayla is making a reference to the fact that we have possums in our backyard that I feed on a regular basis here in New Orleans, Louisiana. Oh my God, I've gotten this whole way and I just realized that I haven't announced the gun giveaway winners. As you guys know, we give away four guns a month. If you're at the five or the $10 level on Patreon or Subscribestar, you are automatically entered to win these every month. People write me saying, James, I'm at the five or the $10 level on Patreon or Subscribestar. How do I get into the drawing? Dude, you're already in. We harvest all of the five and $10 level supporters every month. We draw using random.org, it's purely random, a winner, I'm sorry, four winners, and then you get a gun from Top Gun Supply or your choice, you can get a $350 gift certificate from Top Gun Supply. Obviously, YouTube does not sponsor this, advocate it, promote it. They probably don't even want me to do the damn thing, but we give away four guns a month and three Blue Alpha $100 gift certificates. So. 
For the blue alpha winners, we've got U number one, U number two, U number three. You want to win a blue alpha belt, sign up at any level. $1, $2, $5, $10, automatically entered. Gun winners. These are the guys from the $5 and the $10 tier. You, and you, and you, and you. So congratulations to all our winners. Thank you a ton for the support. All right, so this one's from Greenwood, Mississippi. Dear James Lincoln Rockwell of the Short Stoffel, I have enclosed a Magpul MOE mid-length M-Lock handguard, a GG&G M-Lock QD sling attachment, Spectre Gear M4A1 CQB three-point sling, Magpul M-Lock cantilever rail light mount, a rain check for my coom, C-O-O-M, your simp from the Sweetie Squad, Spanky Da Boomer Groomer, also Coomer. I mean, in a way, this package makes the most sense because it's gun stuff that I would probably use, but at the same time, it makes no sense. And I'm actually a little bit frightened. Mm. Oh, I love these. Nothing says full bore fucking psycho like using duct tape to close a package. God damn it. And you're using duct tape to seal your envelopes as well? What is wrong with you, kid? 2R forever valentine. R is double underlined. I uh, wonder what cult he's going to be referring to. Okay, and a, a, a piece of paper now with duct tape on it for apparently no no good reason. Um, I, I don't know what I'm getting. What am I doing with my life? Hi, Jimmy. I just wanted to tell you that Glocks suck. No homo, bro. Also, enjoy, even though it looks more like in jot, the AK mag and the rose beer fruity butthole. I mean, very, very, I mean, we're talking minimal punctuation on this. Clearly written in a, what looks like a large Crayola marigold color marker. Okay, Coors Light glass. Sticky for some reason. Five round AK magazine. Junk. Patch. And son of a bitch. More duct tape. Oh god, and there's a Ziploc bag in there. Okay, I, am, am I expecting a specimen? The answer is yes, I'm expecting a specimen. I, I mean, really, it's wild that you think that I'm going to consume any consumable that you sent to me, but Hawks Doom and Bloom Fruity and Dry Hard Rosé Cider. Got a skull on there. Guy sent me a skeleton patch in a duct tape package with an envelope that looks like it was written by a seven-year-old remarking about my fruity asshole. At what point am I actually receiving death threats that are just going over my head? I'm getting old, guys. I'm getting old. Like, if you're going to threaten to kill me or, like, uh, uh, try to rape me or whatever, uh, just spell it out in plain terms. I mean, we can, we can forget about the, the theatrics here. I mean, just, you know, just tell me, hey, James, uh, you know, uh, it would be really nice to wear your skin or some shit like that, just so I don't have to try to fucking figure it out. All right, Mischief Machine, Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. I get a lot of shit from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Kind of random. God, there's a bunch of shit in here. And it feels professional. James, been a fan of your channel for a long time. I've really enjoyed watching your mailroom videos. They are some of the best. It's just so funny. It is so funny because these are like some of the least... Well, everybody always like, oh yeah, I think they're great. But I mean, nobody watches this shit. It's great to see you laugh and enjoy all the ridiculous things people send you. And even funnier when you actually use them. Which I do. I figured whenever I started making stuff, you would be on my list. 2020 has been a shit year. Yeah, no shit, buddy. So I figured it would be nice to start the year off with some cool stuff. Included, you will find some merch. Our logo's been like this for a few years now. Seems ironic now that everybody's masked up. One flashlight mount. I made this because I always wanted the capability of using EDC lights on my weapon so I don't have a bunch of dedicated weapon lights. It's a poor people thing. Dude, I feel you. One Casino Royale vertical grip in a checkered pattern and one Topo vertical grip 
Use it yourself or give it away to your other great subscribers. Regards, Joe, owner, Mischief Machine, LLC. Dang, guy. I expected this to be crap, but this is actually pretty good. I might, I honestly might actually use this. Dude, thanks a ton for writing in and thanks for sending the stuff that I probably will actually use. Okay, last package. Let's put away this stale ass polymer that I've been drinking and get the job done. God damn it. This is from Cade. God, you talk about idiots. Oh my God. So Discord, stay away from it, by the way. We have a chat room. I drop on there a couple times a week, only in the patron channels. And it isn't because I'm, I'm trying to reward only the people that like pay. And that's only, it's because uh, the patron channels are already bad enough. Like the Subscribestar and Patreon supporters, the channels they get access to are already bad enough. And Cade's a great example because he is a Patreon supporter um, but I'm concerned about his mental well-being. So, I don't even know what the fuck a Beyblade is. Like, I don't even know what it is. Uh, uh, like, I mean, talk to me about Pogs, right? Like, I mean, I, I, I know what those were. Um, all I can tell from what I can glean from context is it's like a, a, a battle with tops or something like that. And just one day in the chat room... Everyone is talking about stupid fucking Beyblade. And so finally, and I made a rule, and it, right now it's the only rule in the chat. It says no talking about Beyblade because it's like nobody... I mean, I just got so fucking fed up with it. And it was just people, Beyblade this, Beyblade that, you know, Beyblade my balls. And so I banned it. And then now, like, whatever the fuck... Oh my god, this is like a, a TFB custom Beyblade thing? What the fuck? Dear James Jimmy Reeves, I hope your day is so far pretty epic. I've been watching TFB TV for a couple of days now and I've been impressed. Oh, there's the penis that I'll be putting them. God damn it. My question for you is how do you get so many gas blowback airsoft guns. Anyways, I've noticed a distinct lack of Sonic the Hedgehog or Fortnite Big Chungus content on your channel. To remedy this, I've sent you a Beyblade and Stadium customized. You can battle your wife's boyfriends or bring it with you to conventions like SHOT Show to bad battle other manufacturers. I hope you have fun. D's nuts, Cades, let it rip. PPS, check the backside of this letter. Yeah, you know, I saw it already. And then, you know, I guess this is, is this what a Beyblade is? All right, let me see how this works here. All right, so it looks like, I guess this thing probably goes here. And then I probably put this somewhere in here and then pull start this thing like I do with your mom's anal beads. I think I got this figured out. Are you fucking kidding me right now? This is what you guys do? My grandfather fought in World War II. Um, and sometimes... I think about what he would think if he could see me today, if he were still alive. Pop, pop, I'm sorry. <laughs>